Hello guys, and welcome back to episode 30 of my Pokemon Y, Egok. And I am BrackyXY, and I'm really pleased to see you today. How are you all doing? I'm really good. I've just started my summer holidays, so, you know, getting all the recording done and all of that good stuff. But in the last episode, we got our badge from Olympia. And we switched out Nipper for Juan for that extra ground type of coverage on the team. As you can see here, we have got... Everybody else, well, everything is pretty much the same as it was before. Um, yeah. We haven't done any any levelling up or grinding in between because I've been a bit busy and all of that stuff, finishing off work. So what we're going to do now is we have got to go and investigate something because at the end of the last episode, we got a little message on the Holocaster from Lysandra who said that he was going to do something really bad. So we've got to find him. And now... It was. I just had this little idea that he might be in here because it's red and he was talking about Team Flair and we've seen him here before. So what we're going to do is we're going to just talk to this man right here and see if he knows where Lysandra is. Today our special is, get out of here or else. Oh, oh that's a bit harsh. He's a Team Flair grunt. Well, I think we might be in the right place, ladies and gentlemen. I think we might be in the right place. <laughs> uh, okay, so Team Flair grunt sending out a scraggy. Uh, so we're going to go into our Scraggy Killing Machine right now, also known as Kevin. Kevin Sylveon, he is a absolute beast. He can take moves, he can take special moves all day long. Um, and he resists, he resists both fighting type moves and dark type moves. So he's going to eat that up. There we go. Not very effective. So Kevin will just hit back with a nice casual moon blast. And hopefully that should be the end of Scraggy. I'm guessing. I was right. Okay, so one's getting some. Yeah, see, now you see the thing is, you see, one needs to level up a little bit. Because um, we he hadn't been in the team for a while and I haven't been leveling him off screen. But um, I think that his ground typing will just kind of help a little bit because we were a little bit stuck against electric type Pokemon if we could come up against them. Oh no, she'll find out the password to the hidden door in this cafe is Open Sesame. Oh really? Why do I? Do you know what? Grunts are stupid, aren't they? Today's special is Scramble. If you don't get out of here now. Ah. Ah. Team Flare, eh? Team Flare. Okay, so she's going to send out a Leapard, so I think it's about time that, um, that we introduce Team Rocket, no, Team Rocket, my bad, Team Flare to um, what uh, Scraggy should be like. So here is Cosmo, Cosmo's going to come out right now, and introduce this uh, Leapard to a Drain Punch. Uh, it's new for Taunt, but that is fine, because all we need to do is get off one Drain Punch, surely. Let's do this. Night Slash. We're going to eat that up. Yeah. And not even a scratch. And that's going to be totally healed up by our powerful Drain Punch. There we go. There we go. And Leapard fainted. Lipard fainted. And one gets more XP. And we defeat the Team Flare Grunt. I was actually a part of Team Flair. Was I actually part of Team Flair or was I just a waitress? Seriously, do you know what? These people are stupid. Okay, so... At this rate, she'll figure out there's a hidden door to Lysandra Labs. <gasps> what? Where could that be? I mean, this piece of mis this, pe this piece of furniture giving off is giving off a mysterious vibe. Is it a hidden door? Open sesame. Oh my goodness. Fancy that. Now, got the feeling that we're going to be fighting... Um, we're going to be fighting Lysandra when we get down here. So, I'm just going to switch one out from the front because we don't want one to... We don't have to switch, switch out, really. But I can't remember what he sends out first. Welcome. My capture card has just frozen. I will just fix that. Okay, so that's back and back. 
This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. Only the chosen ones will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you want to have a ticket? Or do you want to stop me? Show me in battle. Okay, so he's saying that if we want to join Team Flair, we have to let him beat us. <gasps> Lysandra's got such a Ganon vibe going on, do you not think? It just totally reminds me of Ganon. Oh, okay, so he's sending out a Mind Fu. A Mind f Well... Mm. We'll try... We'll try something with sticks, and if not, then we'll switch out. I guess we could switch out to... Um, Maroons, I guess, for the psychic type moving. Moving? The psychic type moving? <sighs> Powerful. Right, let's try one more. I know he's honed his claws, but hopefully we'll be fine. Yeah, or not. Brilliant. Ah, oh, unbelievable. I'm legit I'm legitimately upset right now. Ugh oh, crap. That is, that is so disappointing. Oh unbelievable. Thanks a lot. Thanks a bunch, Lysander. Darn it. Dang it. Dang it. Mike Gyarados. Oh, crap. Oh, sticks. I'm so sorry. I really wanted a Haxorus. Well, we'll get our revenge. We'll get our revenge. Oh, guess we're going to have to decide who to bring onto the team now. We'll have to have a little look in the uh, the PC shortly. Okay. Um, no! Oh, no. Lysandra's going to cause us a whole world of problems. Oh, for goodness sake. This is unbelievable. Stupid. We're gonna have to do some serious leveling up. In between this in between this episode and the next time we fight Lysander. Damn it. Oh Gyarados with Earthquake. I totally forgot about that. Right. Moon blast your face. Oh crap. You see, I don't suppose it would be too much of a problem if we were, like, a bit over-leveled, like, level 50s or more. Oh, Murkrow. Dang it. Dang it. The question is, will Murkrow know a flying move? Because if Murkrow will, will not know a flying move, then Cosmo could come in. Well, if Mercro knows a flying move, then we're going to be screwed. But Tesla... Tesla's defence is not good. Juan doesn't have anything to take out Mercro. Mercro's dark type, so Mary Runes is going to... is not going to be good. Kevin could, could stay in and go for a draining kiss, but what happens if Kevin's slower? Dang it, dang it, dang it. This is my this is my fault for saying that I'm not allowed to heal up in the middle of a battle. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to hope. Oh crap! Hold it! Come on, hold it, Scraggy! Come on, hold it! Oh good! Well done, Cosmo! Go down! Oh what? I'm gonna have to risk it, aren't I? 
There's nothing I can do. I'm going to have to risk it. I'm just going to have to. That first one didn't... Unless it's a crit. Nah, we're good. If it was a crit, we would not have been good. But we're good. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it. Oh, he's still got another Pokemon. What the heck is it? What the heck is it? Stressing me right out. Sorry. I don't want to learn facade. Right, okay, so... Ah, good. Pyro. We should be we should be cool with a pyro. We should be cool. Come on, come on, Juan. MVP right here. Hyper voice. Damn it. Oh, crap. Oh, what do we do now? It's all I can do. Come on, my runes. I'm just hoping that we're faster. Right, okay, so good. That's great. I need to point out that um, I am trying to, to make this game difficult because every time I've played through it before, I've just breezed through it. So the idea of not doing any additional grinding is completely in order for it to be more of a challenge so as you can see there I did lose a Pokemon and that was not good and we did come quite close to the wire but I'd rather that than just breeze through the game so please please just understand that this I am on purposefully making it more difficult for myself excellent I can feel the feel the fire of your convictions burning deep within your heart Whew. I'm gonna have to go back and heal and choose a new team member what a shame. What ah, ah. Your convictions and those of your Pokemon please me. You are here to stop me. But I ask you to wait. I tried to save people and the world with the profit from this lab, but my efforts had no effect. The world was just too vast and too full of fools that I couldn't save through my hard work alone. That's why I decided the only way to save the world was to take it all for myself. I don't expect that I will ever make you understand how I think and feel. Try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must, but to do so you must have to explore our lab and have Pokemon battles with all you meet. Oh, and as for the elevator key, one of the Team Flare scientists you've met on your journey has it. Saving everything. The world is suffering because of this absurd dream. Okay guys, so before we do anything in here, we are totally going to have to go and heal up and choose a, another Pokemon. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just stick that Pokemon in our party, I don't know. Well, it's going to need levelling, isn't it? Isn't it? It's going to need levelling, that's for sure. So head back to the Pokemon Centre. Heal, heal, heal. I think we should find that the, team, that the Grunts are not as bad. It's just Lysandra. So next time, we before we fight Lysandra again, we've got to make sure we're way over... We're way over 30, uh, 50 in order to uh, manage effectively. Oh, let's go with tire sticks then because, oh, because well, I mean, it was a crit, wasn't it? And I know they'd hon honed their claws, but I was just kind of hoping that um, we might be able to do something. That's a shame because uh, sticks was a good Pokemon. So, I guess we go and have a look in here. Who would be best type coverage-wise? Hmm. 
maybe that Trico, except Trico is quite fragile. We've got water, ground, fighting, dark, electric, fairy, and fire. Hmm. I don't even know. We don't need Super Ted. I mean, I'm tempted to bring Clint in just because it's a grass type. We're thinking about type coverage. What do you reckon, guys? I think out of everybody who's in my box, that's possibly the best option. We don't want bugs particularly. I mean, I guess we could have a Trevenant or a Call Geist if we evolve those guys, but I'm not super confident with using kind of ghost type Pokemon. I don't really want that Bergamite because just as a single ice type is a bit weak. Oh, we've got um. Oh no, we didn't. I was like, well, we've got that, but we haven't to trade, but we haven't. Um, I guess. I guess we'll bring. I guess we'll bring Clinton. I mean. He hasn't had a shot. I mean, we could bring back Brownsaw or Meridia, maybe. Um, uh, Clint hasn't really had a shot. These guys are all under-leveled anyway. Um, well, actually, they're not that under-leveled, are they? Not compared to one. Maybe we bring... I mean, that's not going to be too useful against Team Flare, though, is it? Because they're not packing fairies. Um... Tell you what, guys, we'll just leave it. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, I'll put Clint in there for now. I mean, we could switch train a little bit if the Team Flare grunts are not too bad. Um, but if you have a different idea about who to bring into the party, then, you know, go ahead and give me a shout. It's a shame we had to lose sticks, but unfortunately, that's just the way that it rolls sometimes. That's just the way that it rolls. Oh, man. Four down. Four Pokemon down this Let's Play. Right, okay, so we're going to get in here. This place really irritates me because of all the spinny, round sections. Okay. Let's get my fight on. You'll be captivated by the warp panel and transported away. Team Plague Runt. What are you bringing out? Swallow. Okay. What level are you? Are you going to be a right pain in my neck? Yes. Yes, you are. Do you know what? I might fight this Team Flare Grunt, pause, and go away and level up Clinton 1. So that they're equal on equal footing to where we are now. Just because that's going to make it easier, isn't it? Stupid stockpile. Right, let's go for a psychic. Yeah, because one's like ten levels under. That's just not. That's just not going to be. That's just not going to be helpful, is it? Oh, I just can't really be bothered to sit and do grinding right now. That was a problem. I get a bit, a bit impatient with these let's plays. It's like I just want to. Oh, I just want to get on with it. It's like when I'm when I'm grinding and leveling up on an emulator, it seems to be slightly easier because often you can do the use the speed up button and oh, it does seem to it just seem to work a little bit better. But on X and Y, you've got to go to the Battle Chateau really, and it's just like ugh, I can't really be bothered. But I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll go back and do it. Definitely before Lysander. I think we might just kind of like roll on and see what we can achieve right now. Okay, so yeah, it'll take ages to level up Clint. That's the problem. Let's hit this warp panel. I'll stick him up front. He'll get like a whole buttload of experience and happy days. You. Ah ha ha! Why isn't it that fascinating little trainer from the Kalos power plant? So we meet again, just as I said we would. Yeah. 
It's all right, uh, Al Aliana. I'm still going to beat you down, my Tina. Because <laughs> it's like this tiny little baby Pokemon. But that's okay because I'm going to bring out um, Cosmo. Go, Cosmo. Ah, so you went for the Sucker Punch, but that's obviously and quite clearly going to fail because I didn't attack you. Embargo, so that's stopping me from using items, is it? Well, that's fine because I don't use items anyway. Just catch this Drain Punch. Not bad. Right, awesome. She's got one more Pokemon, so what's that going to be? Oh, Cosmo's, Cosmo's Moxie is on the rise. Do you know what? I really wish that I could give um, Clint an XP share. You know, like the ones that you used to get in the emulators where you just... Oh, in the old games where you just you used to give one. And you could just choose one Pokemon to be gaining levels. Because right now that would be so useful if it was... I feel like I put XP share on and Clint would be the only person gaining experience. But that's not a thing for this game. Absorb? I don't want Absorb, do I? Oh, maybe over the top of Leah. Leah's not that great. Well, I'm not. I'm not into those kind of uh, status moves, really, particularly. So, anyway, at least a bit of switch training in here is going to get me get me fairly fairly far towards getting Clint leveled up. So when I go to the battle chateau with Juan, it's not going to be as difficult to level Clint up right now because we've just gained ten levels, eleven levels. <laughs> quick attack. We don't want quick attack. I don't think. Okay, cool beans. <laughs> 12 levels. 13 levels. Good game. Good game. Oh, Drudigan. Okay, right. So, get Clint out and then we'll switch into uh, my Dragon Slayer. Kevin the Dragon Slayer. Drud again. Weird Pokemon. Weird Pokemon. It's one of those... Is it Gen 5? One of those weird Gen 5 Pokemon. Gen 5 was a bit... I mean, you know, I've, I've come to enjoy Gen 5 more. But, um... Still, want, still not my favourite generation at all. Go on, Kevin. You smack down that Drud again with your Moonblast. Kevin the Dragon Slayer. See you later. See you later. And of course Kevin's getting levels because Kevin's a boss. If in doubt, we always send out Kevin. It's like in my Storm uh, yeah, my Storm Silver, it was if in doubt, send Sparks out. It's like evolutions are just the best. That's why I'm totally psyched about my Platinum Eevee lock. Well, it's not an Eevee lock, it's just an Eevee challenge run, but uh, it's going to be cool, especially when I get more evolutions into the team. I'm only up to episode two now. If you haven't checked it out yet, you ought to. Um, I think it's got the makings of being something really, really pretty cool. Um, we, However, we've only got two, two episodes up on the channel right now. Um, the other thing you ought to check out while I'm talking about it is Wednesdays uh, over on Twitch. I am now streaming my Wonder Trade Wednesday um, trading, and if you Wonder Trade with me, you can use your received Wonder Trade Pokemon to Wonder Cup battle with me. And uh, if I have a guest comment commentator as well, you can battle with them on the stream. Um, my Wonder Trade from last night has just gone up on my channel this morning, so you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, being my, bear in mind, it is a direct copy from. Um, my channel so uh, it's a direct down uh, upload of the stream so, so some of it might not make a hundred percent sense but it's cool it's cool I like it it's good I like streaming there's a lot more there was more people coming out more new people coming out to the stream last night so I really I really appreciated that it was cool okay so which one is it is it yellow I can't remember whether it's yellow or green could be that one. Oh no, that's back to the beginning. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. 
We want green, we want, of course we want green. How are we looking, Pokemon wise? How are we looking? We're looking good. Clint is level 17 already, which is nice. Okay, we need to go to the Battle Chateau and find those those ladies with Ordinos because they're, they're excellent for training against. But in the meantime, we're just going to fight Team Flare. Time for me to lay waste to you and your Pokemon and finally get recognised by the admins. <clears throat> okay, so it's got Swalot again. So we'll switch into my runes and go for the Psychic because Psychic Poison is the thing. Come on, Mayroons. We are not lagging too far behind these grunts as well, which is nice. Um, it's just like Sander. I guess it's the big, it's the big set piece people that are always going to be a little bit higher than us and make and a little bit of a challenge. Whew, but that's what I want. That's what I want to achieve in this let's play. Um, I was like super, super concerned it was just going to be far too easy. But um, I think I've got the balance just about right. Not doing any grinding in particular. And um, not using the XP share. And not using potions during battle. Seems to have got me the right kind of balance. Because I'm not losing trainers left, right and centre. But I have lost uh, trainers. I'm not losing Pokemon left, right and centre. But I am losing Pokemon. So I guess that's kind of like what you would expect. For some, for some kind of Nuzlocke challenge. Okay, so let's see. We're going to get a Leapard out, so I'm going to then quickly switch back into to Cosmo. Go for the Drain Punch. Kill the Leapard. Happy days. Let's go, Cosmo. Actually, I've got quite a good team set up for fighting uh, Team Flare. Um, I've got a lot of Pokemon that can sort of take on, um, take on the typings that Team Flare seem to want to use in this game. So, you know, that's good. That's a lucky, lucky eggs I've had. Ooh, there goes the drain punch. And there goes Leapard. <laughs> Au revoir, Leapard. Yup. Okay, so Cosmo's getting some levels. No, XP. Clint's getting some levels. If we can get Clint up to around about level 30, it's going to make it a lot easier to level him up in the Battle Shadow. Uh, keep all the moves. I defeated another Grunt. Of course I did. Right, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to stop Clint from evolving because I think Clint learned something really good, but when he's a much higher level. So he learned Giga Drain. If he learns Giga Drain, I'm totally just holding out for that. Especially because I reckon I'll be levelling up to near enough that point um, at the Chateau. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the episode right now. Um, head back to the Chateau and then continue to get a fighting team flare in the next episode. So, guys, if you've enjoyed the uh, video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And go and follow me on Twitter and follow me on Twitch as well so you can see when I am going to be streaming on there. Wednesday is definitely for Wonder Trades. And when my competitive team is up and running, then we'll get a battle stream going on maybe once a week as well, if possible. Okay, so guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode very, very soon. Take care and see you later, guys.